Balancing the needs of irrigation and groundwater conservation is the main challenge that, that is facing the country. And we in IMI believe that solar pumps can be a major solution to both these problems. Before we were in our house, we had a tractor in our house. We had a tractor in our house. और उसमें खर्चा होता था उसके बाद हमने सूर्य ऊर्जा लगाई उसके एक बार पैसे लग गए उसके बाद पैसे नहीं खर्च होते हैं हमारे लिए और वो पैसे बच्चे के घर खर्चे में काम में आते हैं सो मेनी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स आर वेरी एक्टिवली प्रमोटिंग सोलर पंप्स बाय ए वेरी अट्रैक्टिव सब्सिडी ऑन द कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट but we think that there are inherent dangers in this manner of promoting solar pumps because this power is totally free and if farmers start using all this power to pump groundwater then our aquifers will get finished in no time unless we change the way in which solar pumps are incentivized this problem can actually become a frankenstein monster for for our country in the next 10 years or so. So what EMI is recommending is that give incentive to farmers to use groundwater more efficiently. We need to connect these solar farmers to the grid to give them an incentive not to use all the solar power that they generate but to be able to evacuate some of it to the grid and get some money in return and that is emi's project spark solar power as a remunerative crop hu 30 varsh thi kheti karu chu मैं बस गेहूँ की खेती करूँ छू डांगर की खेती करूँ छू सारा में सारो केड़ा की खेती करूँ छू ये बढ़ी खेती करूँ तीस वर्ष सुधी एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रिक पंप से पानी लीध आई डब्ल्यू ए हमारी संस्था बारे में बताया के सोलर प्लांट है और आपको रखना है और ये बनाना है यश तो कह दी थी हमने कि चलो बनाओ जरा आप सोलर जो बपोर ताप निकलो थोड़ा चालू कर दी तू चालू थी ये वीजड़ी हूँ मारे अतरे मानो कि अतर चालू खेतर में पानी की जरूरत ना हो इनिशियल रिजल्ट शो that almost 50% of the times farmer was using the pump to irrigate and other 50% of the time there was surplus power which was generated if that surplus is not utilized properly or is not evacuated then that surplus might end up depleting groundwater what we are recommending is that in every village we should aim at forming a cooperative of solar pump owners 40 45 50 solar pump owners and all the power should be pooled and it should be evacuated as at a single point you are then transferring the entire cost of monitoring and enforcement to farmers and to the cooperative 